Hi there, Sean Walker, Walk Tong D Tong D Boats here. Today we're talking about gas or fire stoves, and we have one rocket stove. And uh, just let me get into gas or fire stoves here a little bit. Now, the, none of these two gas or fire stoves have fans in them, and that's because the fans in the gas or fire stove is no good. The fan will cause the wood to burn up really quickly, and you don't want that. You want the wood to burn slowly, if that makes any sense, because you don't want the wood to burn up quick, and then you gotta start another batch, because the gas or fire stove is a batch stove. That means you fill it up, and you burn it from the top down, and then uh, hopefully that'll be enough for whatever you're doing. Now, uh, in case it isn't, you just feed it, and it doesn't gasify as good as it does with the batch. Now, I use these stoves out in the woods. I camp, and I use them on the boat, and I'm out in the wilderness. And uh, I don't bring pellets with me, see? So if you use pellets in these gasifier stoves, you can use a fan. But if you're going to use whatever wood you find out in the woods you know, it's not gonna work well. So don't put a fan in there, it's just a waste of time. Now the first one is uh, one I made out of a pitcher. My wife uh, donated a pitcher to me, it was had a crack in it. And uh, this is gasifier stove, and the way gasifier stove works is you drill a hole around the bottom in the outside container, and then uh, you have a can you put in there, and you drill, drill holes along the inside of the can, and holes along the bottom of the can there. If you look down at the bottom, you see those holes down there. And the way it works is, you fill this up at the top and you start a fire on the top. You don't start a fire down at the bottom. You start a fire on the top and then it heats it up and all the gases uh, get going inside the wood. These are flammable gases. And as the, it heats up, air is drawn in from the bottom and it makes its way journey up to that top ring. And uh, along the way, it's sucking gases out from the bottom and you get a ring of fire. And that's a gas fire stove, simply stated. And uh, this is a great one. I mean, <laughs> nothing wrong with it. I, I had a hard time. It's all stainless. I did well uh, ring along the top there. That was kind of difficult, but I did a good job. And uh, this is my first gas fire stove, and I can make no improvements on it except for the size. It's a very small one, you can see. And it burns for 15, 20 minutes, depending on what kind of wood you put in it. It's enough to make coffee, tea, or heat up something really quick. It starts up really quick cooks really quick you don't got to build a big fire in the ground and uh boom you're gone put it on a backpack throw it in the car truck boat and you're done really like it i use it the most of any gasifier that i have and uh i'm gonna skip by the best gasifier and bring out the rocket stove now there's nothing wrong with the rocket stove you got your gasifier guys and you got your rocket stove guys and I don't know, maybe they argue, maybe they don't. Anyways, uh, this is just a rocket stove like many. It's made out of a Freon tank, not a propane tank, a Freon tank. This Freon tank is better because it's taller and less diameter. And when you're making a rocket stove taller and less diameter is good on a rocket stove or a gasifier stove. And the way it works is like any other rocket stove works. You got that thing in there and there's a little channel in there. I believe it's a four inch tubing. You go in there and there's another four inch tubing that comes up here. There's no holes at the bottom and there is vent holes at the top right here. And I only put vent holes on one side so you get vents and the, when the wind blows from this direction you can rotate it around so it doesn't uh, mess up your fire. And you put the vent on the opposite side from the feeding tube. Works out really good. And the other thing is you got your fill tube for your sand or you can use uh, charcoal from the uh, burnt up wood you have or that's what I did and you get a little cap on there. You can fill it up if you want. And this here is just a uh, regular burn I got off the stove here in Thailand. You can get those, you can buy them in the store. And it's a really great stove. I had to cut it here to Put the tubing in if I, if I had to do it over again i would not have cut it so much and i did a great job building it of course i could have made it better but there was no reason to there is a standoff in the bottom i put this standoff so it'll, it'll stand up and it doesn't fall over i mean it's one thing about it it's very sturdy it doesn't fall over and i use this on my boat a lot i have a catamaran boat and i put it on the back and i go camping on the boat out in the wilderness and i stop by pick up wood and i burn it in here and it will really cook for as long as you want to just keep on putting the wood on it you know sometimes you mix something a big stew with potatoes and stuff in it you need to cook it long this will do that it is a very good stove i have nothing against rocket stoves and like i say the three bears get the little bear got the big bear and here's the medium-sized bear. This is what I call the Goldilocks stove, because of Goldilocks, right? And uh, if you remember the Goldilocks uh, story, I guess you know what I'm talking about. You know, there's the, this one's too little for Goldilocks, this one's too big for Goldilocks, and this bear is evidently just fine for Goldilocks. And it's just fine for me, 
and this is the best stove that I've made. And uh, this is the one that you should make. I mean, you can make the one out of the pitcher if you want. And I advise you to use recycled things because recycled things work better if you get the right thing. Now, what this is, this is two fire extinguishers. Now, the big one is the big fire extinguisher, and the other fire extinguisher is the small one. And it goes inside of there. And uh, so, the way you do this is, you know, if you ever look at the fire extinguisher, it's got a round top on it, right? Well, you cut the round top off. And then you cut a little ring off, and see that ring that goes in there, it's just curved here? That's part of the big fire extinguisher. And you just cut the hole in it after you've cut it off this way. I'll show you a little bit later on. And then uh, you just hammer it down in there, and then you hammer your, you put your other canister down inside of that. And then, uh, now this would have fit without any welding. If you, if you grind it and you cut it perfectly, it'll just fit in there. But I did make some tacks along the inside ring and the outside along the top here. They're so small you can't see them. But it fit together perfectly if you get the right size fire extinguisher, which may be hard to do. Now, now you can also use, in the, for the inside, the stainless steel uh, reverse osmosis uh, water filter that's junk. Uh, that would work really well. And you want to get something that fits the size and you cut it down and you want the inner tube to go way down there just before these holes that you drilled in there. And I drilled it just like the other ones did. I drilled the holes in here. Now, it's notice this bottom piece is a separate piece. It's just it's to raise it up. And uh, the bottom of the canister is where you see that little metal ring there. The horizontal ring just underneath those holes. That's the actual bottom. And uh, the inner container just goes on just before those holes. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the hole there. Yeah, I don't know if you can see the holes in the bottom. But there's a ring of holes along the bottom. And this is great because uh, it works just like the other one does. Uh, the holes on the bottom is a draft. And the draft comes up through it and heats up the wood. And you burn it from the top down. And uh, instead of coming along here like it does in most gasifiers, it comes in that little ring along the side here that's on a little bit of an angle, maybe a 45 degree angle almost. And the fire comes up towards you and it makes a nice ring it makes a nice ring of fire yes yeah, and then I have the standoff here I got two standoffs I just welded them on there and I made a handle and this handle I made I used the original thing to hold the hose for the fire extinguisher on the bottom there then I just used a bolt to stand it off and I got some hardwood here you want to get some hardwood uh, and it doesn't really get hot in the outside of the container, so you're fine. And I just belted it out a little bit to make it more like a nice handle. And you got a little thing to grab onto here. It's the best stove that I've seen anywhere, including YouTube. And you can make it one just like this. And on, uh, I'll show a little bit about all three of these stoves in, the, in action at the end of the video. And I'm just about reaching the end of the video now. I hope you liked it. And the one thing I want to tell you is... Go out and make your own uh, gasifier stove. Make a rocket stove if you want, but make a gasifier one. I mean, the gasifier is the best thing. I mean, it works the best. It's most efficient, and it's uh, most fun and interesting and uh, that kind of thing. So here comes the actual use of these stoves in action. Thank you. Which is burning nicely. This corn husk makes a really nice burn. Lights easily. Burns a long time. Well, it's the next morning. I'm making my tea for breakfast. And what I did was I first did I took my cut around here and I removed this. And then you have to cut around and make this hole. And this is the hardest part of the build. Making this hole so it fits the, uh, the slides on the outside of the burn can. Put it in, the slide just over there so it's nice tight. Put it in, get your hammer, bam, 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 bam. Go all the way down to where it's even here. Tighten yourself a gas fire stove.